So for today, we're going to be looking at the veteran legend stuff for the Warlocks. If you guys don't know, we've already done the review video and the shader video. They're both right here. And we've already done the Hunter and Titan video. They're both right here. Titans, Hunters, definitely check out those videos. A lot of them are bangers. Funnily enough, the first ones are not that great. But the third, like the, the three after are super dope specifically for the hunt hunt titans and i don't know like i think both of them are really good actually because like each each piece after the second ones were so cool and like i think had a really good explanation as to where my head direction was going so yeah definitely would recommend checking those videos out the Re review video we look at how it looks how shaders in my personal thoughts and then the shader video we look at all the shaders that i currently have favorited because if i do all of them it takes legitimately a long time where i've actually fallen asleep so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification because that also does help and i do think my content is worth it enough for you guys to do that but other than that let's get into it so to start off we're going to be looking at the veteran legend helmet so this one is super dope because i'm going for a mecha themed and funnily enough we're also using the veteran legend gloves but this is not the last time you'll see it because i do reuse it in another set so for this one uh mobile exoskeleton robes for the boots we're going to be using the base look of the Ge geomag stabilizers and then for the mark ancestral bond with the iron to steel combo so that way there is no bond for the shadering of everything else it's going to be dreaming spectrum specifically because the veteran legend gloves and the veteran legend helmet shader terribly <laughs> like actually really terrible so this one is super dope. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Very much Gundam vibes. Like when I saw this helmet, I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with this set or this piece. And then you immediately remember, oh shit, the mobile exoskeleton might look really hard with this. And I'm happy I thought of that because I do think this goes hard as fuck. I really, really like the like little holes on the sides of the eye for the helmet. Goes really well with the with the chest piece, specifically on each of the breastplates, like sides. Looks really, really good. Uh, the arms also look really good. I like the fact that the end of the arms are pointy because then the shoulder pads are pointy. It just looks really cool there. And honestly, I would probably switch out the Geomag Stabilizers for the first ornament that it got because it has more armor in it. There is a lot more glow, which is why I was like, I don't know if I want to do that because I don't want this to just have glows on the boots but i would probably just try to see if it looks good or try to see if there's another exotic that has better plating but either way i really really like this one it's not like the other classes where the first one was like it's okay i think this one is super dope and i actually don't even remember the other ones because i didn't get that far when i was recording because i unfortunately i had to i, have to, I had to re-record a lot of these videos so i actually don't remember the warlock so this is genuinely going to be a surprise for me so let's not, let's go to the next set as for the next set, we're going to be using Nezarek Sin. For this one, Veteran Legend Gloves. For the chest piece, Hawk Fury's Robes. For the boots, Vernal Growth Boots. And then for the mark, uh, Veteran Legend Mark. So I think this is super dope, actually. I, yeah, wow. Okay, so let's get into it. I love Hawk Fury's Robes. Unfortunately, I don't like the Guardian Games logo on the lapel and the left shoulder pad don't, don't change color like the the pink yellow and blue i don't like that they don't change color it's one thing that pisses me off about guardian games they usually do the shit like this um for the shadering bitter pearl for everything but the bond because the bond takes off color so i decided to, do, to use noble rhyme which was a great choice because it's damn near the same silver as everything else so overall, I think this one is super dope. If there was one thing I would switch out, it would probably either be the boots or the shadering for the boots. But I also don't mind it as much as I thought it would. I actually think it looks super dope. So overall, I think this is a dub as well. Not as good as the first one. The first one was just like out there for me, like just different, like super different. Not saying it's bad by any means. I still think it's cool. But man, like overall i'm surprised i'm like okay warlocks warlocks getting some dope pieces this is surprising considering you guys are usually the ones i have the most trouble with but this is super dope so far let me know what you guys think as for the next set we're going to be using the veteran legend robes now this one's funny because we're going to be using the hexer hood for the helmet the shadow broker boots for the boots and then the street scholar bond for the bond for the exotic we're actually going to be using an exotic that i kind of have to stop using the necrotic grips i use this quite a bit that being said i think it looks amazing with this set for the shader i'm necrone because uh, there's a lot of off colors in the, in the chest piece that were like pissing me off a little bit so i just decided to use that instead 
and yeah i actually really like this set like a lot a lot uh, i think the helmet goes really well with the mark or with specifically with the chess piece i think the chess piece and the shadow broker boots look pretty cool together um yeah this def like if it if i were to switch out the helmet for something a little bit more futuristic i would definitely tell you this looks like something out of fut like future um, this definitely looks something like out of mass effect because it just looks that dope so i definitely think this one is cool as well a little bit on the boring side i would say just because it's a little too normal looking but that's not bad by any means it's just like compared to like the first and second one it's like very conservative i guess you would say and then last but not least, we're going to be using the Don Chorus with the Phoenix Renaissance ornament. I love this one. For the actual uh, Veteran Legend piece, we're going to be using the Veteran Legend boots. So Hexer gloves for the arms, Ulsuary robes for the chest piece, and then the Steeplechase bond for the bond. So shader-wise, shader Atlanti Atlantis wash is what we're using specifically because it's one of the best shaders if you want to combine the bone color for the chest piece. Um, I like the set. I think it looks really cool. I would definitely switch out the helmet. I don't think the helmet goes really well with it. Um, that being said, I would also probably switch out the boots for it. It just looks a little too clean for everything else. I would switch out the boots for something that looks more warrior-esque. That being said, I don't think it looks bad by any means. It looks cool. It's just... It's, it's just kind of contradictory because, like, everything looks like you've picked you've you're like a hunter and you've been picking up stuff from your your kills and then you get to the boots and it just like looks a little too futuristic for my taste more like like cyberpunk 2077 or whatever the fuck that game's called I forget um yeah kind of like that uh, like edge runner type of shit so that's why i would just switch it out for something else i like i like this set a lot i like what i did with it it's just again i would i would not keep the veteran legend boots with this set so let me know what you guys think i definitely think the fourth one is the weakest one that being said it still looks really cool it's just the the boots don't go really well with the vision that i had but yeah let me know what you guys think i had a lot of fun making these i had a lot of fun making a lot of these uh veteran legend pieces more so than i thought considering i was talking mad shit about that armor like i still i still hold that that armor is way too basic for what we got that being said i do understand that it's like a, a nostalgia thing and i very much do understand that but i don't know man i was just kind of like i wish we got a like i wish we <sighs> to be fair this is just the first portion of the 10th anniversary of what they told us so i'm excited to see what other stuff we're getting if we're getting anything um because i doubt we're getting anything else i don't think we're getting a wet oh we are getting icebreaker but again i I want more armor give me like if it was up to me and i explained this in a, in a previous video but if it was up to me i would give the armor sets that we got from each of the expansions that would have been i mean yeah that would have been super dope because i think the the armor set that we all got for the um the taken king oh that armor is so specifically for the hunters that armor set is fucking banging um and then yeah, like that's what I would have done. Like the armor set that we saw from the promotional stuff, that armor, I would have given everyone that armor for all of the expansions. That way it's like truly a 10th anniversary because we're getting armor sets from each of the expansions and the base game as well. So yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, definitely weak so far, but I'm hoping we get more stuff later. If it's just Icebreaker, I'm probably just going to be like, yeah, I guess. Like I'm going to see Icebreaker be nerfed to the ground and be kind of shitty for a while, which is going to be fun because... It's definitely going to get nerfed, but let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all appreciate coming up to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.